Hi there, Sagittarius, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of March the 13th through to the 19th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Sag. First up, we have Major Arcana Justice in the upright, followed then by Knight of Swords upright. Next, we have the King of Cups in the upright, followed then by Two Pentacles upright. And lastly, Major Arcana, the Hierophant. You have all of your cards in the upright position. Your overall energy is justice. Uh, Libra got this too in the same spot. Justice is represents just that. It's where um, justice could be playing an important role for you this week, Sagittarius, especially if you have something going on in the court system right now. Um, it could be an arbitration, perhaps, concerning work. Sometimes justice will pop up when there's been an injustice in our relationship or in our family or at work, that kind of thing. And perhaps this week you're going to be see you're going to see a turnaround where justice is now playing out. Uh, sometimes it can represent poetic justice. <laughs> Right at the beginning of the week, we have the Knight of Swords in the upright position. Well, it is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. So, could be very well, especially with the Justice card here. Maybe the, this is news and information coming towards you, Sagittarius, very quickly. Um, the Knight of Swords comes out of nowhere. Sometimes it can be unexpected, usually bring in some kind of offer. So in a situation where, because the sword people can be representative of, say, police officers, uh, people in the military, and also lawyers, that kind of thing. So it could be that you're hearing news and information from the legal team about a legal situation and it's coming in quickly. There could be some papers for you to sign. There could be contracts involved. For others of you, perhaps uh, this is an arbitration. Again, maybe you need to sign off on something. For others of you, the Knight of Swords can be somebody new that is rushing into your life. Could be a talkative person. Maybe they like to... Um, you know, to be a little bit aggressive sometimes in their speech. Uh, sometimes, again, they can come out of nowhere and catch you off guard. So just be on the lookout for that. Sometimes it's important news and information that needs to reach you immediately. Um, so don't sign off on anything until you hear from <laughs> this Knight of Swords. The next card is the King of Cups in the upright position. This is a court card, but this time it's water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Now this could be somebody who is close to you. This could be your spouse. This could be a family member, a friend. This can also be representative of um, a doctor or a... Uh, a counselor of some sort. This is somebody who's run the gauntlet on emotions, knows how to process it. Now, oftentimes when the King of Cups will come up, this could be representative of our friend or whoever this is representing in your life. Could be having a conversation with this person. If this is your, you know, significant other, this could be you having a conversation with them about emotional matters and perhaps they're showing the utmost emotional maturity in said matters. For others of you, perhaps you're trying to deal with some emotional uh, conflict or problems or things that you're struggling with and you're speaking with this person and they could be the voice of emotional reason here. For others of you, you could be embodying the, enemy, the energies of the uh, King of Cups in the upright position where you're the one showing great emotional maturity when everybody else is sort of losing it. You're the one speaking up and saying, hey, let's do it like this. Let's just be calm. And Moving on towards the weekend, we have the two pentacles in the upright position. This is harmony in the midst of change, whatever is going on here, Sagittarius. It's a, a smooth ride, no matter how fast this news and information or this person comes in at the beginning of the week. It looks like you're more than equipped to handle it. Two of pentacles can sometimes be juggling our financial situations, making sure, you know, the checks and balances all work out, um, you know. Or it could be some of you are having to deal with something new that has come, you know, landed in your lap. And so there's a little bit of a juggling moment here. But remember, this is harmony in the midst of change there. It, it, it's a two. It's very balanced energy. And then the last card you have is the 
Hierophant, which is Taurus energy. The Hierophant is about making a commitment and signing contracts. See, this is the offer in the beginning of the week, Sag, and then this is the commitment. So whatever's going on here, in order to bring justice to a situation, it seems like the offer needs to come in and then you you will need to complete it with a signature so that's what the Hierophant does, it wants to do things the more conventional way, signing on the dotted line. This could be for some of you perhaps making a commitment in a marriage situation. Some of you are traditionally getting married. Justice could be justice of the peace. Um, for others of you, this could be deciding to sign on, uh, maybe for whatever this is, could be a contract, especially if it's something official, such as working for the government or for school or something like that. It could be that you're taking on a term position. Whatever it is, you're making <laughs> a commitment. The offer, the commitment. <laughs> so that's what I have for you. It looks like an interesting week. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below if this resonated for you. And do tell us how so. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic week. And I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again next week. Bye-bye for now.